hey guys welcome back to angular 10 spring boot crude full stack application tutorial series in this video we are going to create employee list component which will display a list of employees on a web page all right before that let's recap what we have done so far we have created spring boot project we have created jp entity and jp repository we have created and exposed list employee rest api we have created angular application and we had a quick overview of angular application and in previous video we have added bootstrap 4 in our angular application in this video we will create typescript class for employee so we create an employee typescript class which will hold a response of list employee rest api and we also create angular list component angular list employee component to display a list of employees on our web page in next video we'll connect our angular application with list employee rest api and we will get a list of employees from list employee rest api and we populate a list of employees on our web page all right guys let's go ahead and let's create typescript class for employee and we'll also create angular list employee component let's switch to the vs code id and let's create typescript class using angular cli make sure that you are in a project that is a root folder of project angular hyphen front end and let's go ahead and let's use angular cli to create typescript class let's use the command ng g g for generate and then class and name of the class let's say employee so this command will create a typescript class hit enter so this command created two files employee.ts and employee.spec.ts well expand app folder within app folder you can see these two files are created all right so let's go ahead and let's define some properties in our employee typescript class so basically we are creating employee typescript class which will basically hold a response of rest api okay let's go ahead and let's define some of the properties id so the type of the id is number so in typescript we have number as a type and then define first name property and this should be string last name this should be string and then email id and again this should be string it's pretty simple and these properties should match the jpa employee entity that we have created in our spring boot project all right great now let's go ahead and let's create the employee list component we are going to use angular cli to generate the employee list component go to the integrated terminal and make sure that you are in a root folder of your project and just type the command ng and then g for generate c for component and let's type name of the component let's say employee hyphen list hit enter so notice here this command created four files and also updated one of the file that is app.module.ts file well if you go to the apps folder expand app folder and expand employee hyphen list folder so this command created employee list folder as in within a folder it has created four files and it also updated app.module.ts file okay so angular cli will take care to update newly created component in app module so we no need to explicitly add a newly created component in declaration section of app module okay so look at here we just created employee list component right and angular cli will automatically added employee list component to the declarations array and this component belong to this module so as i mentioned earlier 
each module have multiple components and we can have as many as models in our angular application well so look at here inside a employee list folder we have four files this is the employee list component dot css file this is a component private css file which will be applicable to employee list component template this is the employee list component template it has some default text which is provided by angular cli and this is the employee list component which will basically handle the data and it will process the data and this is the employee list component test class so this is related to test cases and we are not going to focus on test cases in this series so let's get in let's open employee list component.ts file so it has an employee list component basically this is a typescript class which is annotated with add component decorator so look at here basically add component decorator that marks this type typescript class as an angular component and provides the configuration metadata that determines how the component should be processed intensated and used at a runtime all right and at at the rate component decorator has three attributes selector template url and style urls so we use selector as a custom html element and this selector will be replaced with this employee list component template at a runtime and this employee list component.css file this is a component css private file which will be only applicable to employee list component.html file now what we'll do let's go ahead and let's copy this selector and let's open app component template and here we're going to use a selector as custom html element like this and if you save the file and if you go back to the browser we will be able to see a employee list works text printed on a web page okay so look at here employee list component template has employee list works paragraph so this is the paragraph printed on a web page now we can we can you know add a html code to display a list of employees on a web page so let's go ahead and let's create a html template which will display a list of employees on a web page let's replace this default content and let's go ahead and let's add a html code here i'm going to create s2 html element and let's say employee list so this is the header of our page and then i'm going to create a table and let's add a bootstrap css classes to the table table and then table stripped table header inside a table header let's go ahead and let's create a table uh, a row here and inside a row we are going to create column let's say first name employee first name and this is employee last name and similarly let's create a one more column and this is gonna em employee email id okay pretty simple and let's create a table body inside a table body let's use a table row here and then inside a table row we're gonna use ng for inbuilt angular directive to iterate over a list of employees so look at here this is the important step let's use star ng for so this is the inbuilt angular directive which we can use to iterate over a array of elements or a list of elements so ng4 which works similar to for loops which we use in programming languages like in java c c plus plus etc but the difference is ng4 directive we use to iterate over html elements so in this case we are going to iterate over a table row if we have 10 elements in an array then ng4 directive will create a 10 uh, you know html elements all right that we will see once we create once we write this code okay and here within a double quote let's create a variable 
javascript variable let then employee of employees okay so employees basically this is an array which we need to define in a component so go to the employee list component and here we are going to define a property called employees and this is the type of employee array and make sure make sure that you import the employee typescript class at the top import and then employee from the employee okay great so once we define employees uh, you know property in our employee list component and this property we can access in employee list component template using ng directory like this now we are iterating over our employees array now let's go ahead and let's use a td html element here and then use double curly braces so this is called interpolation in angular so we can use interpolation to access uh, properties from our object in our case we have employee and then let's go ahead and let's call a property of the employee object like first name so look at here the array type so the array type we have a uh, employee right so this employee class has properties id first name last name and email id so we are using these properties to access a employee first name last name email id right so here so just we have called first name similarly let's go ahead and let's use a last name employee last name last name property and let's call email id okay great let's save the files and let's go back to the browser yeah here we go the html table is looking good and the bootstrap css classes are also successfully added to the html table now what we'll do we'll add some dummy data to the table and in next video we'll make a rest api call and we'll populate a rest api response data in a table let's open employee list component and inside in the init method we are going to add few records to the employees array so look at here this is employees array and uh, we have added two objects employee objects to the employee array well let's save the file and let's go back to the browser and look at here we can able to see two employees are displayed in html table well let's go ahead and let's add some bootstrap css class like container to the div so that we can align this table in a proper format let's open app component template and here let's go ahead and let's create a div and let's add a bootstrap css class that is a container And let's enclose this app employee list uh, you know element inside a div and let's save the file and let's see how the table looks in a browser so look at here now our html table looks good right all right guys in next video we will make a rest api call and we will populate a real data on a table Alright guys, thanks for watching. I will see you guys in next one.